This is a quick video to show you how you can use Excel to pull data from a web page. In this case, I'm going to pull exchange rates from the Reserve Bank of Australia website. And it can all be done in a few minutes. So this is the website. I'm just going to copy the URL. And I'm going to go into Excel and into Power Query in Excel 2010-2013. Um, it's a download or it's built into Excel 2016 and a get and transform. So new query from other sources from web. And this sort of technique is great if you need to have sort of live updated exchange rates for the rest of your report. So I'm just going to put that URL in there, click OK, and now it'll jump to the website. So here's the navigator window. I can click on document, doesn't look like what I'm after, and click on table zero. Ah, that looks more like it. I can even go to web view and get a bit of a view of what this looks like and see it says table zero at the top. So that is what I'm after. So double click on that. And now I'm, in, now I'm into the Power Query window. Um, one of the steps that happens automatically sometimes with Power Query is it works out what data types you want, but actually I don't want that step to happen because it's referring to specific columns. So I don't want this query to refer to the 30th of May or the 31st of May, so I'm just going to delete that step. I'm now going to use the amazing Unpivot feature. So right click, Unpivot Other Columns, and now I've got a column of dates and a column of values, which is exactly what I need. So I'm just going to rename this column and call it currency. I'm going to rename this and call it rate. This is the column I want to grab the date from. So I'm just going to split this column. So right click, split column by delimiter. And I'm going to use the dollar sign because that's what's one of the separators in here just before the date. So custom dollar sign. OK. And it's even clever enough to know that this now looks like a date, so it's changed the date type to date. So I can change this to the word date. I don't need this column anymore. And now I have my clean data, but I've got three dates, the most recent three dates for every currency. I just want the latest one. Really nice and simple with Power Query, date filters, is latest. And that's it. So I'll just name this my currency RBA table. Load to. Load it to a table. And this is how you grab your data from a web page. This is now refreshable. So tomorrow I would come into this report I would right click on this table, click refresh, it would run and bring in the latest date and exchange rates. Pretty easy, really user friendly. If you haven't found out about Power Query yet, you should really do some training, read some books, learn some um, ways of doing this stuff. There's loads of articles and blogs out there. It's an amazingly powerful tool. Thanks.